So right now, that I've been told the temperature in the car is about 99. I think it's about 85 outside. So you can already see how just sitting in the car, temperature is going to go up. You're hooking up to him. A cardiac monitor so we can regulate and watch his heart. Uh, blood pressure cuff to regulate to see the different changes. Okay. And a pulse ox to see for his pulse. Mines. My heart rate is 87. My blood pressure is now 146 over 92. And I still have 97% oxygen on room air. So some of the earliest symptoms um, would be that you have uh, dry, warm, um, flushed skin. Uh, again, so you may not be seeing sweating. That would be, you know, a bad sign that you're that dehydrated. Um, you might also have some confusion. Um, your vital sign wise, that's what we're monitoring here. You might start to be, you know, become tachycardic, which is basically just the, your heart is beating too fast. Shirt some? No. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Go on BP on that side. Uh, a child's thermoregulatory system does not is not nearly as efficient as an adult's. So symptom onset for a child for heat stroke uh, would be three to times faster or more quick uh, than an adult. So uh, Florida law is 15 minutes uh, for leaving a child in a car. Um, so that's why today we're trying to see if I can last 15 minutes without having to uh, get out of the car. Okay, current blood pressure is 131 over 90. All right, so my initial vital signs, my heart rate was in the 90s. My blood pressure was about 130 over 90. At, um, inside the car, um, there was some data that shows the dashboard, the steering wheel. Um, those can reach up to temperatures to 180 to 200 degrees. And because of this, if you're trapped in a hot car, that's going to also help to the hot car heating up faster. The body's temperature it gets to 104 degrees. And like I said, on the inside of the car right now, we're at just a little over 100 degrees. Um, you start really seeing uh, severe um, catastrophic signs and symptoms of heat stroke when the body gets to about 107 degrees. That's when your body cells start to break down and die, which can lead to end organ damage, and ultimately that cascade can lead to, uh, to death. Um, you know, there's no real one real good answer, but potentially leaving your purse in the back seat where the child may be, or leaving your cell phone in the back seat, things that you know you're, you're more likely to remember to get out of the car before you, you leave the car for periods of time. That way it might help you remember um, that your, your child is in the back seat. Right now my heart rate has gone up to 105, 108, and uh, I was moving too much. The blood pressure did not. And my respirations have been staying right around 12 to 14 the whole time we've been here. Um, some other statistics while we're waiting for the vital signs, um, I think it's on average about 37 children die from heat vehicular heat stroke related injuries every year. Last year, I think there was actually it was higher number, 42 or 45, and I think this year so far we've had seven. Um, the key concern is is that uh, we're getting into these summer months, um, so I would say you know between April and September are probably uh, where we're more prone to that. With the uh, especially in Florida, um, you have a lot of uh, people from up north coming down for summer vacations, spring breaks. Um, their routines change from their normal daily, you know, everyday routines during the school year, and so that's why we want to uh, you know make a point to kind of show everyone the effects this can have on kids. First thing to do is to remove them, uh, you know, in our situation, remove them from the hot car. Uh, if you can't get them inside to some air conditioning, uh, the key thing is to do to get them somewhere where it's going to be shady. Um, some other things you can do if available um, is to try to warm the body. So you want to put some ice packs in areas that have, uh, you know, a lot of blood flow. And that would be in the armpits, uh, in the groin area, around the neck, and also uh, in the lower back area. And of course, um, you know, call 911 or, or get to your closest emergency room for further evaluation. Time you you know you like I said if you're starting to feel lightheaded dizziness, um, especially signs to look out for if anyone's watching you if your heartbeat is pretty fast if you're having some trouble breathing, 
And um, like I said, if your skin is flushed and real warm, uh, those would be definitely reasons to come to the emergency room to get checked out. We're gonna... About 13 minutes in, we're getting towards the uh, end here for us. Um, my blood pressure is 138 over 76. That was the last update. Um, uh, I'm not sure if I would have survived the 15 minutes. Like I said, when we were just here getting set up for about 10 or 15 minutes, we had both car doors wide open and uh, the temperature, when the sun was out and it was getting to 107 and 108 degrees. And when they did a dry run just uh, earlier this week, when the sun was out, it was getting up to about 116 degrees inside the car within 10 or 15 minutes. So you know, we were at 102 today, which is pretty hot for me, um, but as you can, you can see if it was any hotter. I don't know if I would have been in there for 15 minutes, so.